Hey everyone, new update once again about the Talent Tree system for RPG Builder. If you're looking at the tree right now, it doesn't look initially very different than what you're used to in previous videos. But if we look a bit closely here, we see that we have all sorts of different things um, mixed together in one single tree. So to be a bit more precise, we can now have abilities, crafting recipes, resource nodes, as well as bonuses. There is no tooltip for this one yet, but it's going to come. So all of those four different node type in one single tree. So if we open the editor right now, you see that the combat tree module is gone, the crafting tree module is gone, and the gathering tree module is gone. It has been replaced by a single module, which is called talent trees. And if we're looking at this right here, which is, you know, this tree we are seeing here in the UI, um, you see that it has all kind of things mixed together. And those nodes can now have a type. So um, instead of being, you know, only abilities for combat trees and only recipe for crafting trees and so on, now we can select a type. So here we have the first node, which is an ability, and then it lets you select an ability. So if we would add a new node here, for example, let's say we wanted this one to be a resource node, we could go ahead and here it will let us select one of the resource nodes we already created in our project. So in this case, it could be copper ore. And of course, they can still, you know, have a chair, a slot, so that they can be represented in the UI, as you see here. And um, of course, they can also all have the same um, requirement list. So these big lists that we see here are all things that are available for each node. So for example, if we're looking at the tree right here, you see that there are a bunch of, a bunch of lines and stuff like that. So if we're looking at the axe here um, and we find it in the tree, we could also remember there is a search bar. So we, if we type axe here, for example, um, you see that the axe has a, a requirement which is of type ability known. So it requires us to, you know, have an ability known by our character. And in this case, it's the fire wave. And the fire wave is this one. So um, I'm going to close the editor right now and just, you know, learn uh, some nodes. So we cannot learn the fire, uh, I mean the axe right now because we do not know this ability yet. But now that we learned it, we can. Now we can also learn the iron ore because it required the axe. We can now learn these boots. We still can't learn this um, flower because we need this ability. Now we can learn this resource node because we know this ability. This one does not have any requirements, so we can just learn it. And now we can learn um, Fair Nova. And it seems like there is another ability here which we can learn. So that's it. Um, as you see, of course, it's a pretty weird tree. I'm not sure um, anyone would design something like this because it doesn't have much um, sense or logic behind it. It's just a bunch of random things put together. But um, as you can see, you can mix recipes, resource nodes, abilities, and bonuses together and make them require each other to be known um, as uh, requirements to be unlocked. So that's pretty cool. I think that's a nice update. It's, you know, once again, giving you developers as RPG Builder users a lot more freedom to make your very own game and not, you know, like a game that can only be um, a certain way. So yeah, that's it. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.